Hey everyone, welcome back to Pokemon TCG. Owl Master here with a deck profile slash some matches. Um, as you guys know me at all, Greninja is something I'm very, very familiar with, so I thought I'd finally do a deck profile on it. Um, this is similar to my really good friend Michael Long's list that he's been doing incredible with. And uh, I think there's only one card off. I think I added another water energy, some splash energy. Since there's so much enhanced hammer running around, I just didn't want to ruin my water energy consistency. Otherwise, I think this is the exact list that he's been piloting for quite some time now. And uh, yeah, also congrats to my friend Michael. He did get top four at London. So yeah, um, I'm not going to go too much detail this list because everyone knows Greninja by now. It's like the deck that's been around for a super, super long time and has been doing well forever. And it's a deck that I love playing and I think really, really, really good at. And it's probably, if, if I were to hand any deck, this is the deck I'd do the most well, I, I would do well with if I didn't dead draw. But this deck is kind of made so you don't dead draw that often because you do have a Lele in here. So yeah, let's talk about this list. Um, oh yeah, also I took out the Espeon for a Jirachi because there's a lot of special energy going around. And this helps your Galusapod match up a lot. So um, I think this is better because the Gardevoir is already pretty favorable. No one's playing... Uh, Metagross, and that's already extremely favorable, so I feel like this is a better option than Espeon. That's just my personal opinion, of course, you can still play Espeon. So, um, in this deck, we have the Greninja Breaks ability, Giant Water Shuriken. I love saying that, Giant Water Shuriken, you and you and you and you and you and you. Uh, just a snipe, do 60 damage counters, 6 damage counters anyway by discarding Water Energy. Extremely strong, and it's a 170 HP, one prize attacker, super broken. Then we have a regular, this is a Greninja we attack with, with energy. We have Shadow Stitching, which is currently the, this and uh, Garbodor are the only ways to turn off abilities as of right now. And Shadow Stitching is really, really strong. Uh, Moonlight Slash, you can do more damage with that. It's also a pretty good attack. So this Greninja is a main Greninja we're attacking with, but the thing that makes this deck work is uh, there's Frogadier's Water Duplicates. Shoot your deck for three Frogadier and put them onto your bench. Shuffle your deck afterwards. And, of course, we have the infamous Bubble Froakie. So, yeah, we also have the 2-2-1-1 two, two, one, one Staryu line. Because the star, oh, Staryu's ability space beacon is great late game. Um, if you prize it, that really, really sucks. Um, this card is really, really good. And it's kind of necessary for this deck. And then we have one Finny, just because sometimes a Gardevoir or a Volcanian or something... Is doing way too much damage and taking away human prize cards. You can just be like Tabby Storm gone, and also that way we have an opportunity to use a GX attack. And uh, we have the two E hammers. It's a lot of special energy and everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Two Skyla because in the end of the game you're just looking for that one card. You don't need to sycamore everything. And then uh, one Lily is because for early you want to get as much like this guy down and this guy down. You just want to get those Frokies and make sure you can get the turn one water dupe bits. And then you roll in. So we're going to play a match here with the frogs. Um, I am going to be participating in a dual league cup, one in Clarksville, one in Madison, Tennessee. And I think this is the deck I'll be playing for all of them, for both of them. Uh, the reason behind that is because everyone's either going to be playing Glissapod Garb Glissopod Zoark or trying to counter it with fire. So even though even though um Tor still took down fire, that's because he's Tor Reckless, honestly. And uh Glissopod Zoark, I believe, is the best deck in format as of right now. I feel like nothing can really beat it. You're just gonna have to uh outplay it. But there's a lot of people that are gonna try and counter it, so this is kinda like the counter to the counter. And it beats the actual crap out of Savali. Like, Savali GX can do absolutely nothing against this deck, which is great. And also, um, there's one thing I've noticed throughout London, is that everyone's playing a lot of Celestelia GX. That card is awful, to be honest. It's just like 3 energy, and you're doing like 120, and then there's like... The Lunar Fall GX 130 for 4 and GX Attack is doing 180 for 4. It's just really, really bad. I don't understand why people are playing that. I really, really don't. So, we're going to have a Mulligan here. This does happen a lot with this deck. As you know, Greninja at all. 
And we do get the Froki and Brooklyn Hill start. So we're looking really, really good here. And we have the Feeny just in case we're playing against in a case we would use it. And uh, I think this might be a Zorak type deck. Uh, Zorak GX's trade being one of the best abilities in the game right now. And we do see an Espeon EX. See an Ultra Ball. We're gonna Ultra Ball away, oh, Rescue Stretcher in the Choice Band. See what they're gonna get here. Uh, most likely, Lele, Bridget. We get down some pokes. Um, I don't know exactly what this deck is. All I know is that there's an Espeon. And C. And of course, there's the Bridget. Um, I wonder if this is. This definitely is it towards Glisspod, Zorark List. But it, it's a Buzzwall. Buzzwall Savali. So, okay. So we got a choice band. We're going to Booklet Hill. Use it. Get down a Froki. Let's see what's the prize. We have all Frogadiers, all Greninjas, one of the Brakes, Field Blower. Yep, Field Blower. Um, a Sycamore. In energy, so nothing too bad. We think I, got, I think we got everything we need, so this should be a good game for us. Uh, we're gonna go choose Froki. Oh, I think we also just price this time. But what I'm going to do is just I'm going to end for now. All right, we do get a Staryu, which is nice, and we do have a Lele as a supporter. I'll put that down and I'll pass for now. So uh, we do have the Frogadier, but we do not have a Water Energy quite yet. Um, we see a Poe Town. That's kind of annoying. Uh, I think that's kind of a misplay by him. He definitely should have put down the Valley first and then Poe Town. But we see a, my opponent has a good hand. So we're going to take advantage of this in Lily. Some cards. Um, I will. I think we're gonna Sycamore, so I'll Ultra Ball away. These and these. We'll get. Does Frogadier die from Poe Town? Yeah, um, we can't get that quite yet. So I'm going to settle for a Jirachi right now. Now we can't. Man, that really, really sucks. So we're just gonna have to. Uh, just fail it, and uh, I didn't realize that we're just gonna end. Oh, uh, we need to get rid of this Poe Town, which we don't find anything that we need, and this is super, super bad. Because now he's just gonna knock out both of these, so this Poe Town's really messing us up. So I'm just gonna have to pass here. Oh, this sucks. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and scoop this game. We're not going to be able to come back from that, so... Um, that Poe Town really screwed us up, to be 100% honest. So let's just play another game, since I don't feel like redoing that intro. And there's no way we're going to win that. He was just going to steamroll us with a really pressure puzzle. That's what happens. Um, it does look like we're playing against another fighting-type deck. So maybe another puzzle. We can possibly redeem ourselves. And not get both our Froakies killed. Man, Poetown is so annoying. I hate that card. Oh, I'll put down a Jirachi. Since I'm an evolution type player. Jirachi down. Um, I don't really want to start with Jirachi. But it's better than starting a Lele or a Finny. And it is what I was talking about. I'm a Brooklyn Hill. Put down a Froki. Let's see what's prize first. So we have Star East Army. We have uh, all the Greninja lines. We have a Blower prized. An Ultra Ball. A N. An N prized. That prized. And a Splash. Okay. I'll put this down. 
I'm going to Lele for an N. Attach an energy to the active. Play N. Oh, <laughs> that was really funny. I'm like, what the? And for right now, I will pass. Um, I kind of want to draw into an energy. That would be really nice. Since we do need it. <sighs> so let's see what our opponent does here. He's going to be attached to special energy. We got the hate coming his way. And he's not smart by him. Looks like he's going to get a jet punch. Uh, I'm going to have to wait for him to knock out a Pokemon in order to put down a Staryu, because I need my frog gang here. Um, we're praying on a top deck of either a supporter or an energy, because that's what we really need. We need to get the Spotted Dope Kids going. And our, our opponent is going to end us, which is great. Uh, I wonder if they're playing any Max Elixirs, or the Lycanroc version. They got top 8 at London. And uh, we do get a water energy and a supporter, so that's really nice. And our jet punch. Alright, so what I'm going to do is field blower these two, so you can't use more of that. Um, attach an energy. Play an N. Uh, all I need is. There's like nine different ways we can get a Frogadier. Ugh, you gotta be kidding me. We got one. We have another in hand. That really sucks. And I'll duplicates for two. Sort of an angry face. But this is type of the thing that happened with this deck. Um, he does have another fighting fairy belt, so he'll take two prizes here, but I'm not too worried. We do have the enhanced hammer, and we'll be able to get a shadow stitching off here, which is nice. Alright, so... Really, after this... Ugh, oh, crying out loud. <laughs> this is what can happen with this deck, man, I'm telling you. It really, really sucks. Why did we have to top deck another Greninja? But we do get some Frokies. I'm going to bench one. Evolve into Greninja. And guess what? We didn't get an energy. <sighs> this deck is killing me. Um, I'm not going to give him another cheap prize. So I will just pass. And I'm going to have to Ultra Ball for Lele. I mean, just kidding. We already did. Oh. We do have a Skyla, but I know it's really going to get us. Maybe a Super Rod or something. Show our opponent here is going to be doing 40-30. Really not enough damage to do hardly anything to every ninja. And we see he's going to try and save it for a Knuckle Impact. But if he's going to get to that point, we will finny, most likely this turn. Alright, so... Praying for an end, there we go, okay. So first, I will Ultra Ball away the Greninja and the Froakie for a break. Just before we finny, we can get a Shuriken off on a Bench Buzzwool. Play this down, I'll play an N. Supposed to think we can get some energies here. Alright, we do get some, that's nice. Um, I'll attach one here. I'll giant water shuriken this guy. And I'll retreat. And go for a tapping storm. Get rid of that Buzzwole, and now he has no energy left on the field. It's not going to be doing a lot of damage. So right now, we're looking pretty good. Um, I just need to get 
some ways to get this discard pile sorted out because we have two breaks in there. That's not very good. Bones go to Sycamore. And we decreased his time of being able to use a huge uncle knuckle impact, which is really nice for us. So this guy has 170 HP left on his buzzle. He is just going to be being able to knock out that Froki, which is fine with me. If we top deck a Super Rod, this would be super great. Because we need a Super Rod. Ultra Ball. Discarding an Espeon and something else. Going to get a Trubbish. What? That doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. <laughs> okay. Fine with that. And Super Rod. Dang it. Okay. I'm totally cool with that too. I'm a little treat. Um, here. Choice Span. Uh, giant Water Shuriken. So we're, we are going to be able to get a knockout here. If we do find Field Blower, we can Shadow Stitching for the knockout. If not, we'll open Moonlight Slash. And a little Sycamore. Okay, we'll put down this. And I'll Moonlight Slash for the KO. Alright, so we got ourselves some prize cards, and our opponent still has no energy and no way to be able to one shot this Greninja. And even if he is playing Trash Lands, we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I think I need to find a. If he's going to ability lock us, which does it seem like he is? Man, this guy is killing us with this stupid fuel. Okay, so we need a field blower, which we do not get. That's okay. I'm gonna put this down, this down, the hammer, Froki. We'll put down this, this, for this. Lily for three. Okay, we got ourselves a Skyline next turn. And I will just sh Moonlight Slash. Keep it. Uh, we'll keep that on there. So I think we're doing really well right now. Um, our opponent, we're constantly keeping energy off our opponent's field. That Tapu Fini really put in a lot of work on that active buzzwall that had two energy on it. Is this guy playing four buzzwall or something? I think so. So he's going to enhance hammer. I'm fine with that. Um, I kind of want to have Skyla for a super rod, but I also need a field blower. I think we did prize a field blower though. But I think right now we just need more. Okay, so we do get a rescue stretcher, and we'll shuffle in him. Him and him. Um, Eva Soda. And we'll get this. Do we have a field blower? Uh, no, we do not. So I will just attach another. Yeah, we'll attach here. Now Skyla. Super Rod. And we'll shuffle in these yeah okay and then we will moonlight slash for the knockout alrighty we get a field blower then we win no dang it took the wrong tube it's okay uh, I think it's still likely we take this game Alright, so, Poe Town coming down. Uh, I hate that card. And uh, our opponent is going to scoop to us. Alright, so, uh, we're kind of in control. Now, Buzzle is kind of an easy matchup for us. Because, they can't, in the early game, they take a lot of prizes, but in late game, they're just not doing enough. 
with all these high HP one prize attackers. And um, if they're going to get one of those with knuckle impacts, Finny just sends it right away. And we have like enhanced hammers, Jorachis, all these things to help stop uh, Buzzwool from getting three energy on it. And Giant War Shuriken just provides constant pressure. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you guys later. Goodbye.